so you want to do a failover for your checkpoint cluster well there are multiple options how to do it and i will show you two of them so the first thing that we need to figure out is like okay which is the active member yes of course it's possible yes to do like a ping command for google.se and look for this ip address within the within the logs and see which one is pointing out like um which one is pointing out the lock so in this case we can see that the cp gateway 01 is the current active member because that one is managing the traffic but that's not really a good way to check which is active so the correct way to do it is to log in to the gateway itself in cli so we log in to both of them and then we need to go to expert and the command to check which one is the active member is to do cp ha probe state and we can do it on the other one as well so we see here that this is the current active one and this is the current standby one and you can see that on the local one here and you can also see the reason for the last failovers so in this case uh, it has been that it was um, admin down and there was no other active members within the cluster so it took over we also see that it has been a reboot and how many failovers that have been since the last reboot so so one of the ways to do a failover for the clusters is to just open the cluster object within the smart console and then you can change the priority so we can change from uh, this being the highest priority to this having the highest priority so increase priority however if you want to do it by changing priority and you want it to fail over when you press the install button you also need to verify that you have to on cluster excel vrp up on cluster recovery we need to switch to the higher priority cluster member because if it has maintained current active cluster member it will not do any active failover if you don't say it should do so in this case i have increased the priority for this specific member i have switched to higher priority cluster member and then i will just publish and publish doesn't mean it's active as of yet we need to install the policy but we want to see this uh, live the easiest way to do this is to type watch and then the command cph probe state this will refresh the command every two seconds and we see that this is currently the standby node which is uh, highlighted as local we will also do a ping to google and i will install the policy which will um, implement these changes and that should also initialize the failovers between the two members so when we do this uh, policy installation we will see that this is becoming active instead and we say init and standby and we also have a request timeout meaning we have a failover and it was actually dropping some of the traffic we can see that the change was due to higher priority. So what is actually the recommend way to do these failovers instead? Well, if we check for checkpoints recommended and also my recommended is to do a cluster admin down within the expert mode on the cluster itself. And this is the same for many versions and I'm just showing the latest version. So to set this up first we need to do like this uh, actually we don't need to but i think it's better to do it so we want to maintain current active member and we want to have this as the increased priority meaning we want to have gateway number one as the uh, default one as well and just to to emphasize this and show this because i did change this one maintain current cluster maintain current active cluster member meaning it should not do a failover now when i do the install policy so we will not see it move here so let's just verify it 
and we have the ping going and we also installing the, uh, the policy and we see here now that it's still standby and we just changing the priority itself this is still active the gateway number two so you should not check this order you should need to check here so we see that the gateway number two is the active one even though we have the cluster member gateway number one with a higher priority and it didn't fail over because we have maintained current active cluster member so if we want to fail over this the correct way we need to do like this and this doesn't require any policy installation or anything like that so we do like this and we want to connect to gateway number one and expert uh, and by the way we can see uh the logs it will also have changed so i will just uh ping ping google dot sc uh, 67 so we see here we need to wait a bit so we see here that the gateway number two that is currently having the traffic and it's also stating here active so if we want to fail this over we do watch cp cph cpha probe state and control c to to end to to leave this so if we want to change this we do cluster excel with capital letters underscore admin down and when i hit enter this will turn from standby to active and i don't know if i cannot have this at the same time but i will i'll run a ping just to to verify this so admin down and you see here now this is active and this is down and we actually don't lose any packets so this is with full sync as well so this is also one of the benefits of doing the cluster excel admin down and an admin up and when we see this we have active down and i will do the the same for for this so you see the local member is down and you will see that its reason for date changes is admin down p note so how does this actually look within the smart console well if we go to gateways and servers it should say um, alert for the device number two so it should change here for number two so we see here that we have an error so the cluster excel is currently uh, broken so we also see here that admin down is problem and uh, this is causing an error so if we lose the first member now we will not take over the traffic but anyway let's bring it back to life so to bring it back to life just do control c to get out from the watch command and then cluster capital excel underscore admin and then up and this will start the the process again and we see that it's now active standby and you also see that this command did not survive reboot and if you want it to survive a reboot you need to take space dash p for persistent or permanent maybe yeah persistent or permanent so this is something that we use a lot when we do upgrades when you want to really control when you have failovers because you don't want it to flip back and forward between members when you're doing an upgrade so shutting down cluster excel is a great way to do this uh, when we do upgrades we also try to disable interfaces in uh, switches so we don't have any mishap and why this now is active standby this will also turn green so if we open this again we will see that the cluster excel is now up and running okay and we don't see this admin down anymore so i think that's it for this video thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one take care